Well, good afternoon, everybody, from a sun-drenched Williams Valley Stadium. This afternoon, we bring you Pony Championship football between the Little Tigers of Lycans, who have won their uh, admission to this championship game by defeating the Millersburg Indian Pony team last week, and they're going to face this afternoon some tough challengers from over in the other valley, the Higgins Little Bulldogs. So we've got uh, the Little Bulldogs are on the field right now, and the Tigers have yet to make their appearance on the football field. It is just an absolutely gorgeous day. There is hardly any clouds in the sky, just some really light clouds up here now sifting in from the west, but otherwise just a sun-drenched afternoon and a very, very beautiful day for anything in particular and for this football game right now this afternoon. Man, it is nice. Pretty mild, a little bit of a breeze going. These fellas, uh, sometimes these teams can pass a lot and the breeze will not affect the passing game or any other part of the game. As a matter of fact, the field is in excellent condition here at Williams Valley and the uh, taping facilities are excellent up here too, I might add. You don't have that wobble that we find at home on our scaffolding down there. So should be a super afternoon for football and we're hoping that these two ball clubs can get it together and show us a good pony action football game this after. We'll uh, be set with the toss of the coin here in just a moment. As I said, the Tigers have not arrived on the field yet, but the officiating crew that I see out here is a good one, uh, particularly the man with the hand up in the air right now. That fellow there and his crew, he generally acts as the referee, must be the senior official perhaps out there, I don't know. But at any rate, uh, he does a good job, and these fellows have done a pretty good job all year long. And uh, you deserve a little bit of credit, too. So I think the Tigers now, I hear them roaring over there behind the bleachers, and they're about set to come onto the field. And uh, we'll be looking for them to duplicate their ball game of last uh, week when they really uh, came together and played one heck of a good ball uh, game against those Millersburg Little Indians. And uh, I'm going to look for some heroics out of several of these fellows today as we get uh, set for the final ball game of the season and the winner today is the champion and the loser of course would be the runner-up so uh, let's hope for a good one here and uh, we'll be back with the toss of the coin and the opening kickoff in just a moment Coaching staffs of both squads are to be commended, of course, because uh, we have a lot of uh, helpers out here who are just pops and just friends of both the ball clubs, and uh, they uh, donate an awful lot of time and devote an awful lot of time to these uh, ball teams. And so uh, I want to mention the uh, managers, the coaches, and anyone else connected with this football sport. This is Welcome good. This well, we're going to have the captains, uh, co-captains, meeting out here. We do have some lineup, uh, lineup numbers for both squads, and so uh, probably get to mention most of these kids at some time during the day. Official sends back two of our squad because they wanted to be even out here, four uh, Bulldogs and four Tigers. Travis Snyder is one of the uh, co-captains for Higgins. Along with that, number two, Justin Troutman. Number 86 out there is Eric Rainis. And number 32 is, um, let's see, P.J. Belichick. For the Tigers, we have uh, Dave Shell out there, along with number 45, and that's that uh, Nick Huffman. Uh, 54, I believe it is, and that's going to be uh, Sean Ladenschlager. And the final guy is sort of, oh, there he is, number 36, I believe it is, and that's that uh, Jer Szymanski. So we have the captain set, and the toss of the coin has been made. One of these fellows have won the toss. Looks like Likens may have won the toss, and we'll see. Four officials working the ball game this afternoon. Likens has indeed won the toss. They have elected to receive, and of course the Little Pony crowd was electrified last week on the opening kickoff when... Uh, Jim Savage ran the ball back about 94 yards, 94 or 96 yards, and really put the hurts on the Millersburg Little Indians real quickly. So uh, whether we'll have a repeat of that, I don't know. But we're going to find out here in just a moment as the Bulldogs get set to kick off to our Tigers. Should be a lot of fun. 
Those kids are always fun to watch. We're going to have the National Anthem, then we'll be back with the opening kick. For the opening kick, the Tigers will send out uh, number 45 out there. Is that uh, Nick Hoffman? 29 is uh, Nat King Cole Klinger. He's on the kickoff uh, return team. Jer Samansky out there along with uh, number 17. He's our, also our quarterback, Brian Faust. Uh, 59 there. Is that uh, the Drew Hunter? Uh, probably won't catch all these guys, but uh, let's see. 45 over there. Oh, hit Nick Hoffman. I did mention him. Uh, 26 is little uh, Kevin Motter. Kevin, tough little ball player out there. And Nick and Jim Savage are back deep to receive this kick. Probably missed someone out here. Let's see. Uh, 57. I don't know if I mentioned Greg Minnick is on the kickoff team. And so uh, we're set to go. The referee blows the whistle and the opening kick of this afternoon's ball game set to get underway. Kicking off the number 22, Justin Alano. Justin Alano kicks it and kicks it short. Right there, it's taken by uh, Nick Huffman, and Nick runs it to the 50-yard line where it'll be put in play. So a line drive kick right at Nick. Nick had, <laughs> Nick had a little chance to elude that when he kid kicked it right on his chest. And so it is a first and 10 now for the Tigers. Lycans will have Jim and Nick Savage in the backfield along with Jer Samansky, the quarterback. Back there is uh, Brian Faust. So they'll split two fellas out on the far side of the field as they get in play here for the first time. Here's a handoff. It's going to be to Jim Savage, and Jim hits the line of scrimmage, and that's about it as he's met in there pretty quickly by any number of the uh, little bulldogs out there. Justin Troutman in the center of that pile for Higgins on the stop. No gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10, so the Tigers test the line of scrimmage in the middle of that line that time didn't get much out of that one so we'll see what they elect to do here on a second and ten this time Faust will hand it off and spinning up uh, maybe for one yard not more than that is number 36 uh, Jer Samansky and uh, Jer not able to do very much with that one gained one yard on the play it'll be Second down or third down and nine. Well, on a third and nine now, third and long here. The Tigers gonna hand it off this time to that uh, little uh, uh, Jim Savage and Jim gets maybe to the line of scrimmage and that's all. And it'll be fourth down now as the Higgins Bulldogs coming up there to make uh, a good stop. Travis Snyder in on the stop over there for Higgins that time. And it'll bring up a fourth down and nine now, and Likens will be punting the ball away. First series gained a minute of one yard. Back to punt is Jim Savage. Jim will be stepping up to about his own 44-yard line when he gets this uh, punt away. There is a breeze blowing back towards Jim, high snap, but the little left foot of Jim gets the kick away. It goes over here and, whoops, takes a, a uh, negative roll here, you might call it. As number 49, Bam Bam Bats, comes up and makes the down of that football. And it'll be first and 10 now at the 39 yard line for Higgins. The Higgins will take over for the first time today. First and 10, Little Dogs. First and 10 for their own 39. Appears as though uh, Travis Snyder is the quarterback. Yeah, he is. Okay, I didn't know that. Saw his pop up here today. He didn't tell me he's quarterback. But I didn't ask either. <laughs> anyway, Travis will set him up. He pitches it back over here now for that Troutman, and he spins around this side, and he's grabbed in there by number 45 of the uh, Tigers as Justin Troutman drives it out here to the 47-yard line. A gain of seven on the play. It'll be second down and two, or three, from the 47-yard line. Stop made in there by Nick Hoffman that time for the Little Tigers. These Tigers had their hands full with these little Bulldogs over at Higgins during the regular season, so need to really play tough. Snyder hands this one off, and this time getting dragged down just about immediately is number 22, Justin Alano, and Justin not doing much with that one as they stacked them up almost immediately. Elizabeth Buggy in there helping to make that stop for the Tigers. So Elizabeth showing what she can do here this afternoon. Makes that big stop. Elizabeth, very aggressive in there and uh, generally uh, 
really motivated. You know, look at her. She's ready. Okay. Got a third down and a long three now. Travis will pitch it back over here that time to that Troutman. And Justin Troutman has it close to the first down, but not quite. It looks short from here by about a yard. It'll bring up a fourth down and one. Stop made in there by a couple of Tigers. I uh, didn't see specifically who it was, but anyway, it's a good stop as it'll bring up a fourth and one now from the 48-yard line of the little Bulldogs. About a yard shy. Got three minutes and 50-some seconds of clock. Sort of hard to see here in the daytime at Williams Valley. They play most of their games, or all of their games at night. But at any rate, we have that big... Uh, Fourth and one here, and going up the middle, four one, and plenty more. Is that number 22? And oh, look how Alano, or Alano loses the football, but I think the ground caused the fumble. Yeah, number 25, Jim Savage, making a touchdown saving tackle out there, but uh, that was a good rush that time by that Justin Alano. And Justin took it all the way down to the 27 yard line of the Tigers, where it will be first and 10. Fine run that time by that uh, Justin Alano. First and 10 as Travis Snyder sets him up. Handoff is to that uh, Alano again, and he dives down to the 21-yard line, gain of about five or so on the play, maybe six. Picked up six, it'll be second down and four. Ball now right at the... 21-yard line of the Tigers. Orlando's finding some space up the middle there as they blast off that right tackle spot. Someone over there doing a good job for the Bulldogs in blocking. Snyder, the QB, hands it off this time, and it's going to be number 32. 32 with the football that time. And that's that P.J. Melichek, and P.J. got himself... Enough yardage for the first down, I believe. Well, in fact, they're going to have to measure it. It's so close, they're going to call for a measurement. The ball looks like it's about at the 17-yard line, and uh, this will be a close call. It looks like it's a first down by a football and a half length. First down, Higgins. So the Tigers now really have to dig in as the Bulldogs here stirring up a fuss here in the first quarter. I think we have two minutes and 41 seconds remaining. As I said, the clock very difficult to read. The sun's shining on it and isn't very bright. Okay, here we go on a first and 10. Handoff this time is to that number two, uh, Justin Troutman. And Troutman dives down to about the 10 yard line. But there is a flag, I believe, on the play. Yes, there is, there's a flag. Back here in the backfield where sometimes uh, motion or something will be called. So we'll find out what the call is now. It is going to be illegal motion against the Bulldogs. And that's going to bring that ball back five yards, that's for sure. Talking it over out there with our uh, captain today, our defensive captain, is uh, Dave Shell, And the penalty will go the against the little Bulldogs. Five yards, takes the ball back to the 22-yard line, where it'll be first and 15. First and 15 now for the Little Bulldogs. Dusty Rickert is the center for this uh, Little Bulldog squad. I'm going to flank a couple of guys out on the far side of the field. Will Travis look to pass one? I don't know. Nope, going to hand it off this time. And Troutman again up the middle. And Justin Troutman drives it down to about where he was before. <laughs> he picked up the five yards plus what he had gained before. Took it down to the 12 or 13 yard, call it the 13 yard line. Samansky with the stop in there. It'll bring up a second down and about seven. Gain of about uh, eight yards on that play for Troutman. This time Justin Troutman flanks out on the near side of the field for the Little Bulldogs. And the Snyder hands it off this time, and it's going to be that uh, P.J. Melichek with the ball. P.J. didn't quite make it back to the line of scrimmage before Sean Lodenschlager made the stop in there for the Little Tigers. And uh, P.J. lost a yard on that play. It'll be third down and eight. Third and eight now for the Little Higgins Bulldogs. We're down to a minute to play right now 
inside of one minute to play here in the first quarter. No score, but the Bulldogs with a big threat. Here comes Snyder. He's going to keep it on the option. He's going to pitch it out over here to uh, Troutman, and Justin Troutman has it, but a couple of Tigers come up and have him almost immediately, as Nick uh, Savage, I believe, was one of those responsible for making that stop. And hold everything. We've got another flag thrown on the play. Flag on the play. So the little Bulldogs, who are doing quite well here now, see themselves getting a little messed up here on the penalties. And uh, this one's coming back also. It's a clip against the uh, Bulldogs. And boy, that helps the Tiger cause here now as the ball will come all the way back to the 32-yard line, I believe. Well, 31-yard line where it will be third down and about uh, 23. Third down. Or maybe 24. Third down and 25, now for the Bulldogs. Okay. Certainly helps if the Tigers can dig in there now and uh, hold them here. Troutman flanks out on the near side of the field. He goes in motion now. And wait a minute, lifting up over there is number 80 for the little Bulldogs, and that's going to cost them five more. Oh, the Tigers are going to get into Bulldog territory here without, without having the football. Anyway, the ball now back to the 36-yard line where it'll make it third down and about 28. Bulldogs going in reverse. Clock counting down, I think we have uh, 20... 20 some seconds or something like that. Really difficult to tell. Thank goodness the horn will buzz when the time elapses because I don't think anybody can really see how much time there is. Here comes Troutman again. Over in the right side goes him in motion. Travis Snyder dumps one over the middle. Nice pass, but a little overthrown and incomplete as the intended receiver out there was that number 21, Garrett Malik. And uh, Faust was back there to defend on that play for the Little Tigers. That'll bring up fourth down now and a ton for the Little Bulldogs. Okay, on a fourth down play. Again, Travis Snyder looking. He's going to dump one over on the left side this time. It is complete over here to... Uh, Troutman, there is a flag on the play, however. The buzzer has gone to end the quarter. However, there is a flag back here, laying right back here where sometimes holding occurs. So watch yourselves, fellas. This one may be coming back. We're going to have interference and an illegal, illegal man downfield. What happened that time, gang, is you had uh, somebody downfield who was ineligible to receive that pass. So you'd have to check the tape or whatever. We want the ball, hollers the coach's staff on the far side of the field, so the Tigers, of course, will refuse this penalty and take the ball, I would guess. No, they're going to take the penalty. Illegal or Ill interference and illegal man downfield, whatever, offensive pass interference. Now the ball's at the 49-yard line of the Tigers, and that's going to, or of the uh, Bulldogs, and that's going to take the... Uh, it's going to take the ball all the way back into Bulldog territory. Now, well, there was a flag on the end of the quarter uh, play, so I think they're going to run one more play. It is first down for the Tigers. That's how it is. It is first down for Lycans. Yeah, that's what it should have been. That was a fourth down play that the uh, Bulldogs were going on. So it's first and 10 Lycans, the ball at the Bulldog 49-yard line. So now I'll tell you, I think there's a little confusion out here. I'm not sure if anybody knows what's going on. Okay, now they look like they do. We're going to line it up. Faust is ready. First and 10 now for Likens. First and 10 Likens. So what a big break that time as uh, the quarter will end with this play. Here's the pitch over there for Jim Savage. And Jim tries to turn that side over there, but nothing doing. He's rolled back for a loss of maybe two on the play. And that ends of the quarter. Quarter ends right there. And at the end of one period of play. We have no score. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. Likens will have the ball. It'll be second down in about 11 when we come back. For 43, Mike Long in there on the offensive line now for uh, the Tigers. Mike checked into the ball game. And we've got a second down and 11 for Likens. The ball now at the 49 yard line of Likens. So they are back in their own side of the field again 
as they send in motion over there. Uh, Nick Rickard, but up the middle with it goes Jimmy Savage, and Jim Savage with a good carry to the 45-yard line. However, there is a flag on this play. Hold everything. We've got a penalty against the Tigers. And timeout call, we have a man down out here. Looks as though, uh, let's see, might be uh, number 25, Jimmy Savage, maybe shaken up a little bit or something. Jim still down on one knee. In the meantime, the official is talking to the Bulldogs and Bulldog captain number 32, P.J. Malachek, says take them back. And indeed they're going to. It's going to go back to the 44-yard line where it'll be first and 15 for the Little Tigers. Jim, in the meantime, is being administered to out here by uh, Mr. Shell, and uh, Jim's going to have to go off for one play. Jim's going to be okay, though, the tough little guy, and he's going to be back in here very shortly, I'm sure. We'll have to find out who the Tigers put in there to replace Jim. Uh, let's see. Is that a 54 out there? Not sure. We'll see in a second here. Second down and 16. Here's a handoff, and going up the middle with it is Nick Savage, I believe. And let's see. Or no, it's Samansky, I beg your pardon. Jer Samansky runs it ahead to the 47-yard line. It'll bring up a third down and about 13 or so. Hinkle of Higgins making the stop for the little uh, Bulldogs. And... Uh, Tiger's going to take another shot at it now. It's going to be off third down and 14 now for Lakin. Third and 14 for the Tigers. Handoff this time is to Nick Savage, and Nick dives ahead here to the 49-yard line, where it'll bring up a fourth down and about 11. So the Tigers generating no offense here, cannot solve this Bulldog defense so far here in the uh, first half. And it's going to bring up a fourth down and 11 situation. So Jim Savage, who is back into the ball game now, will be punting this ball away. He'll be stepping up to about the 44 yard line, gets a nice snap and the left footed Jim kicks it over this way. And let's see, it's gonna get a Likens roll this time and roll very nicely down to the 21 yard line where it's gonna be down down there by number 54. And I think that's at uh, Let's see, number 54 for the Tigers is that Sean Lottenschlager. So Sean downs it out there at the 21-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 Bulldogs. Travis Snyder up over center for his Bulldogs now as they get set to uh, see what they can do on the offense. In motion over there goes Troutman. Snyder hands it off, however, and skipping up the middle there is Balajic. He loses a football picked up there by Dave Shell, and Dave will carry it back a couple of yards for the Tigers, but more importantly, they have the ball back in good field position now as the ball came loose in there. That was that uh, number 22, was it, Balajic? I beg your pardon. That was uh, Justin Olano who coughed up the football that time after he had busted through the line of scrimmage about a yard or two deep and came loose, and Dave Shell picked it up. Dave made a recovery in last week's football game and ran it in for a touchdown. So this week, Dave instrumental again in getting that ball back for his Tigers. Here's Faust and wait a second. We're going to have motion called now. Jer Samansky went in motion for the Tigers, but I think someone else may have done something. Let's see. It's going to be against the Bulldogs as Samansky went in motion, but one of the Bulldogs reacted. It's offsides called against the Bulldogs. So I think you'll see that. I think that was a good call. And that gives the Tigers yet another break here now as it'll bring up a first down and five situation. The ball now at the 19-yard line. So if the Little Tigers want to do anything with it, boy, now is their opportunity. First and five from the 19. Samansky, Jim and Nick Savage in the backfield along with uh, Brian Faust. Faust has it, gives it to Nick Savage. And Nick dives ahead across the 20 to the 18-yard line. A gain of about uh, three or two on the play, make it, and bring up a second down and three. Oh, the Tigers can just whittle one out here now. They're going to keep, gain of two yards keep the pressure on down there. Be second down and three now for the Tigers. Kevin Motter lines up at a split end position for the Tigers. Now he's in tight this time. 
Faust hands this one off. Coming around this side is Jim uh, Savage. Jim skips along over to the right side. Look out, Jimmy could go all the way. He is in for the touchdown. Jim with a fine cutout here as he went off the left tackle spot here and then find, uh, found an opening and picked his way through the secondary and in for six. So the Tigers draw first blood here this afternoon. It is six nothing. The extra point try coming up. Jimmy Savage just making a super cut up there and uh, the Bulldogs could not chase him down. So it's six nothing. Likens. Score came with four minutes and 22 seconds or something like that left in the uh, first half. Extra point try coming up. It'll be a big extra point try. Here is uh, an unsuccessful, hang on there, unsuccessful extra point try as uh, stopping him in there is that number 58 of uh, the Bulldogs making a good stop on the extra point try and it stays 6 nothing Likens. 56 was that Sean Heim making the stop out there on the extra point try for the Bulldogs. Or was it or was it 58? Wait a minute, it might have been 58. Everything else will be served over Travelin's French fries. Thank you. Got a number 58 out here for the Bulldogs, but he's not on my sheet, so I apologize to a number 58's mother, whoever she might be. <laughs> I have no idea who that young fellow is, but anyway, he made a good stop. Okay, here comes the kickoff, as it's going to be Faust kicking it off, or no, not Faust, Smith, Chris Smith, and Chris's foot uh, gets into this one and drives it about 10 yards to the 50-yard uh, line, where it'll be first and 10 Bulldogs right at midfield. Ball laying just inside the 50-yard line, just on the Trojan side of the 50-yard line. Sean Heim had uh, downed the ball out there for the little Bulldogs. First and 10 for Higgins from the midfield. So Higgins sets it up, trailing now 6-0, as Travis Snyder, the quarterback, will go to work. He'll hand this one off, and coming around this side is that Troutman, and he's bumped along the side here, dragged in, uh, dragged down over there by that uh, Jimmy Savage, along with uh, Faust, and also number 59, Drew Hunter, out there making the stop. But it would just be uh, Jim Savage who hung on to him and slowed him down and allowed the other guys to come up and help finish him off, so... Good defensive play that time by the Tigers. Gain of two on the play. It'll be second down and eight. Second and seven for Higgins. The ball is now spotted at the 47-yard line. <laughs> Snyder this time is going to hand it off on the reverse. 86 has got it. Oh, good tackle there by Jer Samansky. Samansky comes up there and takes the pegs right out from underneath that Eric Reynas. And Eric, unable to do too much with that one at all. For Eric got caught right in the backfield that time. And a fine play by Jer Samansky. No gain, third down and eight. Tiger defense showing signs of toughening up here now, tightening up against these Bulldogs. And this time Snyder has it. He's going to roll back, look over on the left side, dumps one out over there. He's got a man there, incomplete. Oh! Number 21 out there just about had that one. Garrett Malik almost pulled that one in. Boy, Garrett was there, and he feels bad about that one. Garrett knows that he should have hung on to that football. Oh, uh, well, Garrett, he'll get another chance, that's for sure. Nice pass out there by that Travis Snyder, and Garrett was there, but he just couldn't haul it in. Fourth down and eight, and it looks as though the Bulldogs will punt. Maybe. We'll see. They could be tricky at this stuff, you know. Ooh, high snap. And, ooh, he gets the kick off, and it's not going to go very far. Coaches holler for it to get away, and let's see who has that football as it hit somebody, but it looks like it was recovered by Likens. But, oh, that was a desperate one as Jimmy Savage comes up with the football. But, oh, my, the coaching staff over there screaming, get away, get away from that kick, and the fellas just hung in there, and Jim Savage fortunate to fall on that one. So, uh, his pop, will tell, his pop will tell him about that. Anyway, it came up and hit Jim, and Jim had no alternative but to fall on that one. And uh, let's see, we have a momentary timeout here as we repair a, a bulldog over here. A little work done on his helmet. 
All right, he's going to be okay. All right, they fixed him up, and now it'll be first and ten. That was that Malik that had the helmet problem. But he's ready, and we're ready. First and ten, Tigers. Ball on the 37-yard 37, 37 line. Handoff this time goes to Nick Savage, and uh, Nick dives ahead, and let's see, lost the football, but only momentarily, I guess. Drove out to the 42-yard line. Nice gain on that play. Probably one of the best gains from scrimmage on the play, other than the touchdown. Picked up four, be second and six. Tigers have had some problems gaining yardage against this tough Bulldog squad, but that was a good gain that time. Picked up four on the play out to the 42-yard line. Second down and six. This time, Faust will hand it off. And coming around this time is uh, Jimmy Savage. Can he turn it upfield? Nope. He hesitated, and he is going to be thrown backwards as any number of uh, young uh, Bulldogs come up to make the stop that time. Jim unpiling there, but uh, we've got uh, 99 in there, uh, Higgins, but also Travis Snyder in there along with that uh, number 22. Hinkle also in there. Justin uh, Olano, a whole bunch of uh, Bulldogs come up and captured that Tiger that time. Third down and six for Likens. Third and six, big play here for the Tigers if they want to continue a drive. Back to pass goes Faust. Nope, going to dump a little screen over there for that uh, Jimmy Savage, but Jim's being pursued hotly over there, and he's going to go out of bounds as he's chased out over there by uh, P.J. Melichek who uh, made the stop on him, bumped him out of bounds over there, loss on the play back to the 38-yard line. It'll bring up a fourth down and about 18. I beg your pardon, fourth down and eight. Fourth down and eight. So the Tigers obviously will punt the ball away. Looks like we've got a minute and two seconds or something like that remaining here in the first half. See if we can get a good snap off here. Oh, a little low, but not bad. Kick comes out here, and it's going to be received in the air over here by Troutman. Troutman spins around this side. Look out. He's got some blocking and some running room. And one man down there, and a man to come up and get him is number 36, Jer Szymanski. But he's at the 22-yard line of the Tigers. A fine run back there by that uh, Troutman. Just a good run back. Picked that ball up out at about the 45-yard line and took it all the way down here to the 22, and we have uh, a flag on the play. Justin Troutman with a big run back. We'll check out the penalty here. Penalty is going to be what? Illegal motion against the Tigers declined because of the excellent field position that the uh, Bulldogs have, and the Bulldogs will call timeout. Time is running down here in the first uh, half, and uh, the Bulldogs will have the ball on the 22-yard line, first and 10, after this timeout. Well, we have a timeout. I want to show you just how difficult it is to read this time. Can you see that? This is the official clock, and the announcer tells me there's 22 seconds remaining. Now, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but that's what he said. Okay, the Bulldog timeout is over. Higgins with a chance to run maybe a play or two. They're at the 22-yard line. Travis Snyder looking him over. He's the quarterback. And he'll pitch it. No, he doesn't. A reverse coming around this time to Troutman. One man to beat. He's at the 10 and drags it down to about the 9 where he's dragged out of there by Jim Savage. But another good run. It is enough for the first down. It'll be first and 10 from about the 10 and one half yard line. Just outside the 10 yard line, as you see there. And now the time will be put in play. And I don't know, the Bulldogs are going to have to really hurry it up as time is running out here in the half. Here's Snyder, pitches it over here for Malachek. Malachek looks to turn it up, si up uh, field, but then he's tackled out here as another Good stop by Jeremiah Samansky and timeout called right now as the Bulldogs call time. But Jer Samansky with yet another fine stop. Jer shaking up a little bit on that play. And the referee is going to signal that Jer is injured and they're going to make Jer go out of the game for a play, maybe. I don't know. At least they're going to have him checked out. Rob Shell Sr. into the ball game now to uh, find out uh, how we can have one more defensive play here before the half ends. 
Tigers up 6 nothing, and it's first and goal. No, it isn't. No, it's not first and goal. It's uh, second and 12 for the little Bulldogs when we come back. Okay, here comes that second down play with the time called, of course, the clock stops. And uh, Travis Snyder setting him up. Hand, nope, he's going to come over this way on this reverse again. And this is that number two, Traubman. He spins away from a couple of tacklers. He's going to go in for a touchdown. Yep, he goes in for the touchdown. This little guy out here had a shot at him. That's that number 17, Brian Faust. But Dustin Traubman runs it in with hardly any time remaining here in the half and ties up this ball game 6-6. So a tough play that time as the Tigers unable to get him. They had a couple of shots at him in the backfield, but unable to bring that uh, Troutman fellow down there. And uh, Justin ran it in for six. So we've got a tie ball game in a championship game. Two teams really going at it here now. So uh, couldn't ask for anything more. Two little, little guys really playing their hearts out here. And we'll see what the extra point try, which is going to be tremendously important. We'll see what that... Uh, Looks like here in just a moment. The Tigers are going to call timeout, as this would be a very, very important extra point. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, the Tiger timeout is over, and that big extra point try coming up here now for the Bulldogs. Snyder hands it off, coming over this way is that Troutman, and he dives in for the extra point. So Justin Troutman gets in for the extra point and gives the Bulldogs a lead here at what will be the end of the first half. It's a couple of seconds remaining, I think. Can't tell, but at any rate, not much time left, and the Tigers go, uh, or the Bulldogs go up 7 6. And the Bulldogs will kick off to Likens here. With just uh, 16 seconds, they've interpreted the clock to say. 16 seconds remaining here in the first half. Bulldog kick coming up. Justin Alano has the ball teed up for his Higgins little uh, Bulldogs. And we're going to see what kind of a kick he gets off here. They're not going to let a big run back occur here. And it looks like it's a free football. And it's going to be fallen upon out here by Samansky as they tried uh, a squib kick. Ended up looking like an onside kick, and perhaps it was designed that way. I'm not sure. But uh, the Tigers fortunate to get that one back here. Now, Szymanski fell on it out here at the 41-yard line, so it'll be first and 10. Likens on their own 41. There are 12 seconds remaining here. And uh, we have a flag or a discussion of some kind. Let's see. The ball is going to be placed at the 45-yard li line. 45-yard line. First and 10, and the clock put in motion, and that means uh, time for maybe one play. First and 10 for the Tigers. If they hurry. Okay, Faust has him set up. He's going to drop back here. He's going to pass one as the buzzer sounds. It goes incomplete as uh, Jim Savage out here thinks he might have been held and uh, looked a little suspicious, but <laughs> that ended the first half. So at the end of the first half, we have a 7-6 ball game. The Tigers trailing by one. Back with the second half in just a moment. There is a discussion following the kick, or following that play. I'm not sure what it is, but they have both head coaches out here to discuss this. I don't think it's going to be of any consequence, but nevertheless, some kind of a problem happened there, and we have halftime underway now, and we'll be right back. Well, the combatants are reforming out here in the field now for the second half of play. The little uh, Bulldogs trying to uh, desperately hold on to a one-point lead over the Tigers, and the Tigers trying to erase that margin and get back on top once again. The Tigers had led 6-0, then the Bulldogs come back and scored a touchdown and an extra point, with that Justin Troutman doing the honors in both cases. But now the Tigers look for an uphill battle as these little Bulldogs are a mighty ferocious squad out there and have not allowed very much uh, out of the Tigers. In fact, the Bulldogs probably should have scored early in the uh, second half, or the first half, I beg my pardon. Um, 
when they had the ball on a roll and then a couple of uh, really nasty penalties hurt the Bulldogs' chances and the Tigers got the ball back. But the uh, Bulldogs will receive the kick to begin the second half of play and we'll be back with the second half kickoff here in just a moment now. The Tigers in the final ball game of the season would like to get a break here and uh, see if we can't get on the board again and uh, hold these Bulldogs off. As I said, the big important first drive here, I think, will be uh, very telling us the outcome of this ball game. The Tigers forced to kick off to the Bulldogs. We need to get a good kickoff to begin the second half and then hold these little Bulldogs deep, but it's not going to be easy. Uh, little Bulldogs are hungry also, and they need uh, a victory as bad as the uh, Tigers do, I guess. And so we'll see that Tiger kickoff coming up right now. They break the huddle and uh, see what happens here. Kicking off for the Tigers will be uh, number 37, Chris Smith, I believe. No, they're going to have Dave Shell's going to kick off. Okay, they're going to have Chris... Uh, not kick off this time, and David Shell will kick off for the Tigers. Maybe Dave can get a little more leg into it. Chris had been kicking off for these little guys, but today Chris just uh, wasn't getting off too strong a kick. They were only going like 10 or 11 yards, so the Tigers hoping for a little better depth out of this kick. So here we go. Dave Shell's going to approach this one, see if he can boot this one pretty good. Well, that one's a little better. It bounces at the 40 and picked up at the 39-yard line. This is that Justin Troutman. He spins around the right side, and Justin is dragged down finally on a one-legged tackle out there by Sean Lanschlager. Sean picked him off, but it's an excellent field position at the 38-yard line of the Tigers. So uh, tro uh, Tigers have their work cut out for them now as they're going to have to try to stop this little bulldog onslaught as uh, Travis Snyder calling the play out there. He's the quarterback. He will set him up on a first and ten. And the handoff this time is to that uh, 22, Justin Olano, and he gets out to the 35-yard line. Gain of three or four on the play, about three, second down and seven. Okay, only second down and seven from the 35-yard line. Snyder this time hands it off to P.J. Malachak, and Malachak at the 30, and uh, look out, he's gonna spin around that left side. He might go all the way. He is down inside the 10 to about the Six-yard line, something like that, or maybe the five. Malachek with a fine run that time as P.J. got himself open around that left side and uh, finally stopped down there at about the seven-yard line, something like that, I believe it is. Well, maybe we can see better here. Uh, yeah, let's call it the seven-yard line. First and goal now, so the Tigers doing exactly what they didn't want to do, and that is allow these Bulldogs to... Uh, Get on the board here early in the second half. Snyder's going to keep this and runs it up the middle, and he is in for the touchdown. So Justin Snyder runs this one in from about uh, six yards out or seven yards out, and he's got himself six, and the, Indian, uh, the uh, Bulldogs now with a 13 to six lead, and they're going to try to see if they can get an extra point out of this. Snyder kept it that time and just weaved his way through that line. Again, getting some good blocking out there. And he was able to uh, take that one in. Now it looks like they're going to kick it. As back uh, to kick is Olino. Placement's down, kick is up. The kick is good, I believe. Okay. And uh, Olano adds two points to the uh, score and makes it now a 15-6 uh, to six ball game. So... I'll tell you, these little Bulldogs having a good day out there so far. So good for the Bulldogs. And the Tigers will get the ball back here in just a moment. Travis Snyder had scored. Did I say Justin Snyder? I don't remember. Anyway, Travis Snyder, of course, is the quarterback, and he's the one that got the touchdown uh, for the little Bulldogs. So it looks like Olano is getting set uh, to kick this ball off as the Little uh, Bulldogs will break the huddle here. And they're set for the kickoff. It's Justin Alano. All right. 
He's going to come up, gets this kick off. It's going to be stopped right out here and fallen upon almost immediately as uh, downing the ball will be Nick Huffman. And it's first and 10 now for the Tigers in good field position. The 47-yard line is where the Tigers have the ball. If they can generate a little bit of offense now, we'll be okay. Savage boys are in there along with Samansky in the backfield. Dave Shell on the line along with Drew Hunter and uh, Bam Bam Bats over here. Or no, Bats is not in there, I beg your pardon. That's that number 43 for Likens, Mike Long. He has a number torn off too. Anyway, on the first play, here comes Jimmy Savage and Jim is thrown down out there as that uh, Olano comes in there. Olano comes in and makes the stop on him. Loss of two, second and 12, ball back to the 44 yard line. Well, let's see if these little guys can get one going here now. Stay in this ball game. We have plenty of time. We're in the third quarter. Samansky goes in motion over on the right side. Pitches back over here now to Nick Savage. Nick's going to try to turn it upfield. He gets a yard or two, maybe three out of that. It'll be third down and nine. And timeout called now as we have timeout called by the Higgins a ball club. And we have a man down out here, and that is a Tiger. That might be uh, Nick uh, Savage injured on that play. Both of these teams with their black jerseys, since the Bulldogs went to black uh, jerseys with white numbers, the Tigers with the black jerseys with orange numbers, makes it a little difficult sometime when they're all piled up out there just to exactly to see who's who. At any rate, we'll be back after this uh, injury timeout. Well, Nick's going to be okay. He was off under his own power over there with the able help of uh, uh, Jim Buffington. Jim's going to take care of him. And now we're ready to go on a third and nine for the Tigers. Third down and nine for Lakin. Tigers bring in there to replace Nick. I think that's that Nick Huffman to replace Nick Savage. And this time it's going to be uh, Samansky, or was it Jim Savage? Oops, wait a minute, Samansky. Might be Samansky. injured there too. Samansky getting up awful slow. Oh, he's okay. Jared's going to be all right, I guess. You're walking back rather slowly. And I'll bring up a fourth down and eight. Jared picked up about a yard on that one. And Jim Savage is going to be back to put this ball away. Jim Savage will be the punter. He gets a low snap. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, not much of a kick that time as Jim was really under the pressures, plenty of rush put on him, and it's going to be down by, down here by number 26, Kevin Motter. Kevin Motter. So Kevin downs the football out there for his little Tiger guys, and it is now first and 10. Higgins with the ball on the 42-yard line of the Bulldogs. Elizabeth Buggy back into the ball game at that center of that defensive line for the Tigers. She's number 46. All right, first and 10 Bulldogs. Travis Snyder sets it up here with two running backs set in the backfield. Flanker out on the near side goes in motions. That's that Malachek. Pitch comes back over here to Troutman. Justin Troutman picking his way ahead behind a little bit of blocking and still on his feet, still on his feet. Down the sidelines he goes. Puts a stiff arm out here to one would-be tackler, but finally dragged, uh, dragged down on there as Drew Hunter comes up and makes the uh, stop on him. Bumps him out of bounds after a fine run again by that uh, Justin Troutman. All the way to the 32-yard line of the Tigers. First and 10. Hunter finally making the stop, but the uh, Tigers with some horrendous tackling over here now, it would seem as that uh, bigger guy there, that Troutman kind of running at will over this, this side over here. Here's Malachek with it. He's gonna cut it up field and he is going to be tackled out there as he is gang tackled by uh, Samansky along with Nick Savage and the final man getting up out there is that number 54, Sean Ladenschlager. 
A good stop made that time, and a flag is on the play. Motion or against, or holding rather, against the uh, Higgins Bulldogs. That's going to take the ball back to the 40-yard line, where it'll bring up a first and uh, 19. First and 19 now from the 40. First and 19 now, Travis Snyder. Hands this one off to that, uh, oh, there's a ball, Cubs loose, but I think it was going to be recovered out there as number 22 grabbed his own fumble. That was <laughs> 22 really called that one. I'll be shaking his head, what the, hey? <laughs> but anyway, um, Justin Olano just about left that one slip out of his grasp, but he was able to fall on it and uh, recovered it for a gain on the play of about six, it'll be second down and 13. This time Snyder's looking to pass over on the left side, dumps one over there is incomplete, I think. Pass is incomplete, it was intended for Alano and uh, Justin couldn't catch that one, it was a little bit underthrown. And it'll bring up a third and 13 now for the little Bulldogs. Third down, 13. Clock is officially being kept on the field now due to the fact that you could not read the clock from here. And I wasn't kidding you. And uh, because of the bright sunshine right on the face of the clock, the officials are going to keep it. And that puts everybody, including myself, in the dark as to how much time there is left. But we're still in the third quarter. Quick pass over the middle, incomplete. Intended this time for number 25 out there. But uh, that one falls as an incompletion. It was uh, intended out there for, uh-oh, we don't have a 25. So the announcer does not say who it was for, but number 25, whoever that was, could not catch that pass. Kind of thrown behind him a little bit, I believe. So it'll bring up a fourth down and 13. And of course the Bulldogs will go for it. They lead 15 to six. And Travis Snyder this time dropping straight back. He's looking for a pass right over the middle downfield. Got a man out there and it's going to be complete. Uh, to Olano, Justin Olano holds that one in down at the 12 yard line first and 10, but there is a flag on the play. Hold the phone. It's going to be first down, they say. And they're going to talk to the offensive man, so the flag is against the Tigers, obviously, if it was uh, pass interference or anything like that. They would, of course, refuse that. Oh no, face mask, tap the distance, down to the six. Or make it the seven yard line. First and ten, or first and goal rather, at the Tiger Seven. So the Tiger fortunes are going downhill here, going south, as they say. And the Bulldogs knocking on the door again. Tigers playing in the shadow of their own goal line. Olano and Malachick in the backfield. This time it's going to be a keeper by that quarterback, and uh, he's going to take it in for a touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown scamper by, uh, by uh, Travis Snyder, his second touchdown of the afternoon. He ran about a six in, then he ran this one in for about seven, and it's now a 21-6 to six ball game as the Bulldogs pull away from our little Tigers. And the extra point try coming up. Now, they kicked the extra point last time to get a two-point play in there and uh, this time I think they're going to try the same thing. This time it will be uh, P.J. Malachick looking to kick this one in out of the hold of, t of uh, well it's good. Malachick kicks that one through there out of the hold of, of uh, number two out there that Justin uh, Troutman and it's now 20 three to six, and the Tigers will be getting the ball back. Let's see him kick one out here at number 29. That's uh, that Nat King Cole Klinger. Let's see if he can run one back. <laughs> I like to see that kind of kick right at him and run it back for a TD. Anyway, Greg Minnick out here, number 57. We're getting ready for this kick. Here's the kick. It's going to be picked up at the 32-yard line. At the 35-yard line goes Dick Savage with it. He's at the 
Uh, 38, where he's finally tackled. Oh, Nick with about a 12-yard run back that time. Gives the Tigers the ball, first and 10 on their own 38-yard line. Still playing in the third quarter, and uh, the Tigers need to get a quick score here. Clock set in motion. Clock uh, officially kept on the field, and timeout. That might have done it. Timeout. The official calls time. No, wait a minute. We have... Uh, Okay, no problem. We had a problem with the chain gang over there. Got the chain tangled up a little bit or something. So that's been taken care of. And we have now a first and 10 Tigers on their own 38-yard line. Quarterback hands it off. Coming back around this side here is that Jer Szymanski, and he picks his way ahead for a couple of yards out to the 41-yard line. Gain of about three on that play. Now bring up a second down and seven. We got about two or three yards for Likens. So a second and seven coming up now for the Tigers. I wonder if the Tigers are going to try to pass anything here. I don't know. 23 to six, you know what I mean? Can't be too conservative on these guys because that the uh, Bulldog defense has been tough on the run. Faust has it, hands it off, balls. Uh, Handled by Szymanski, but he's tripped up immediately in the backfield. Lost uh, about uh, three on the play or two. Back to the 37-yard line where it'll be third and ten. So we're back to the original line of scrimmage. Now for the Tigers. Not too much time left here as the uh, linesman over here checking his watch as the play gets set to develop. They're going to get this one off anyway, and up the middle with it goes uh, number 17, Faust, and I think that might have done it for the third quarter. Tackle made in there by number 58, whom we don't have, and that ended the third quarter, so the score at the end of three quarters of the ball game is the uh, Little Bulldogs 23 and the Lycans Tigers 6. Fourth and final period of the season coming up here in just a moment. Fourth and six now for the Tigers as the fourth period gets underway with the snap of the football. Eight more minutes remaining in the season and the Tigers looking to do what they can here to solve this tough Bulldog defense. Here's Faust. He's going to hand it off and going around the outside here is Szymanski. He spins away from one tackler, but he's going to be smothered out there as that number 58 comes up and makes a stop on him. And 58, I think, is that unmentioned player on the uh, roster here. Yep, he doesn't appear on here. So number 58 with a good stop out there again, though. He's been playing a pretty good football game this afternoon. He's probably a ringer from Millersburg. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, first and 10 Bulldogs now as the Tigers run successful on that fourth down play and the ball at the 35-yard line where uh, Travis Snyder will set him up. He hands it off and going up the middle there is that uh, number two, Justin, Justin Troutman. Justin gets about four out of that or three. Anyway, second down and a long six or seven. Stop made in there that time, I think, by uh, Elizabeth Buggy might have been in on the stop that time for UD, or for uh, the Tigers. Buggy, Shell, Ladenschlager, Kevin uh, Motter in there. Let's see. Handoff this time is to that number 22, Justin Alano, and Justin gets to the 30-yard line before he's beat up in there by several Tigers, including number 46 again, that uh, Elizabeth Buggy. Elizabeth checks out now. She's in there beating up these guys too much, so she'll check out of the ball game. She's replaced in the middle of that uh, line there by that uh, little number uh, 51, I believe it is. That's that Bo Hassinger. 
Handoff this time, and oh, tripped up on a nice play by that little Kevin Motter, Justin Troutman, who is about a half a head larger than uh, Kevin Motter, and Kevin comes in there and makes a good gutsy little tackle on that guy. It'll be fourth down and a long three for the Bulldogs. Ball back at the 28 and a half, just about 29 yard line, somewhere in there. Bulldogs are going to flood the right side this time as they send out four players in this lineup. Okay. It's legal. Passes over there. He's got some men set up to defend on this play, and this is that uh, uh, Troutman, and he gets the first down as uh, Dick and Jim Savage come up to, I beg your pardon, Nick Savage and uh, Dave Shell come up to make the stop on him out there. First down, however, at the 22-yard line. First and 10, the Bulldogs. First and 10 now for the Tiger. 20 Tigers still line. hanging in there anyway. They're playing. They're, they're, you know, they didn't give up. Here's Snyder's handoff and coming around this left side. This time is that P.J. Malachek, and he is going to be dragged down finally after he gains a couple of yards. A shell in there on the stop again, along with number 41, for the uh, Tigers. And that uh, 41 is that Josh Smith coming up to help to make the stop that time. PJ Malachek picked up four down to the 18 yard line. It'll be second and six. These guys have really done well this year to get this far and play this well. You know, it's uh, gonna be a tough loss to swallow here when they could have had the championship, but by gosh, they're the runners up or for whatever that's worth. They'll be back. Here's a nice pass over the middle there by Snyder. And number 21, Malik, has uh, the first down, down inside the 10. At about the nine yard line, it'll be first and goal. As again, I think Jer Samansky might have been in there on the stop that time for the Tigers. But anyway, as I was saying, we congratulate these Lycans Tigers for going as far as they have today. These little ponies have played an excellent season and uh, run into a Real tough, real rough uh, Bulldog team from Tri-Valley. So you got to give Higgins a lot of credit. They really uh, came to play. And this is little 33 bouncing ahead here now and dragged down in there as uh, number 45 uh, came up and made the stop on him. And that's uh, Nick Huffman. Nick with a good stop that time. And timeout momentarily called. There's four minutes remaining in the ball game, says the official. Four minutes left in the season. Anyway, the Bulldogs are deserving a lot of credit. This afternoon have played well, have really played a tough defensive game against these little Tigers. And uh, the offense has generated a lot of action also for the Bulldogs. So they're to be congratulated. Here's little 31. He's going to scamper ahead here now until he is knocked down out there by uh, number 59. Third down now for the Bulldogs. The, uh, Tigers, Drew Hunter, I think a couple of other Tigers helping out on that play. But uh, that number 31 was that Justin Hatter. Justin, a very popular name today. There's got to be three or four Justins on this uh, Bulldog squad. Travis Snyder looking to engineer another touchdown here as he gives it to PJ Malachek. Malachek gets close, but uh, not in as he's down at about the one foot line, something like that, the way it looks to here from here. Stopped, by the Tiger Stopped the as the down. Tigers ganged up on him there. It's going to bring up a fourth down and about the shadow of the football. You can see it there. You can see the line right on the other side. So if these guys ever dug in, now's the time to dig in as they're going to send uh, 45 back in there for the Tigers on a fourth and goal. I think Travis Snyder is going to keep this one and sneak it in. Nope. Going to hand it off here to uh, number 22, and he got in. That's number 22. Yep. 22 got in there. Alano, he went in for six and makes the score now 29 to six. And a extra point try coming up. Less than four minutes to play, probably uh, three minutes or something like that to play. And once again, they will try to kick this Goal extra point as uh, 22 Olano will try to uh, kick another extra point. 
Whoop, here's a snap that's kind of mishandled out there this time as uh, the snapper did not get a good pass back there. That's uh, Justin Troutman. He uh, couldn't really do much about that. And the score remains 29 to 6 with about three minutes or something like that left to play. The uh, Bulldogs will be kicking off to the Tigers in just a moment. Justin Alano will be kicking off here now for the Bulldogs following their touchdown. And here's a kick. It's a nice kick taken here at the 24-yard line. He's at the 25, now the 30. Nick heading upfield at the 35-yard uh, line where he's finally dragged down over there as coming up to make the stop is that uh, Justin Troutman for the Bulldogs. And it will be first and 10 and timeout called by the Bulldogs. Higgins will call time. The Tigers will have the ball first and 10 on their own 36 yard line when we come back. The squad is changing now for the little Bulldogs and they're receiving a good hand from their partisan fans over here as these guys have played one heck of a ball game this afternoon here and uh, giving credit where credit is due. They certainly uh, did play a tough game against our Tigers. But the Tigers are no slouches either, and they'll be back next year. Some of these kids will be back to play pony football again next year. And of course, some of them will be moving up to the uh, midget program. So we'll look forward to seeing all these boys back again next year from both squads, as far as that goes. And hold everything. Flag on the play. We have a flag on the play, and uh, somebody must have been offsides or something like that. Well, I'm not sure what that was. There was no call, and Mr. Shallow questioning the flag or the lack of thereof. I'm not sure what happened on that one. Anyway, okay, they're going to do it again. First and ten. First down and ten. This time the handoff is over there to that uh, Nick Savage, and Nick racing around the left side. Switching hands with the football and finally dives down. Or is that Jim? I beg your pardon. That's Jim Savage. And Jim drags it to the 45-yard line of the Bulldogs. A good run that time by that Jimmy Savage. Jim was an exciting football player to watch this year as he would run those long, long runbacks or punts or whatever, uh, plus scampering off to uh, one side or the other. And uh, a lot of kids on this ball club that... Um, I did a lot of blocking and other things that don't get mentioned a whole heck of a lot, but uh, were instrumental in the Tiger victories, and there were plenty of them. Here's pressure being put on now by number 81, Sachs uh, Brian Faust back at the 49-yard line, but that number 81 in there is uh, Vinny Gustitis, and uh, he just made himself uh, a notable tackle from his defensive end position that time right here, little number 81. And uh, bring up a second down and about 16 now for the Tigers. Second and 16 for the Tigers. Faust dropping back, gonna throw a screen over here. It is complete Jim for Jim Savage. Jim running around the right side over here. He's got some running room, tucks that ball away, gives the guy a stiff arm and is thrown out of bounds over here as he is stopped by uh, Justin Hatter who comes up and makes the stop on him. But uh, a fine run that time by that uh, Jim Savage. I'm not sure how many yards there were on that, but it was nice. It was from the, let's see, 48 down to about the 20. Six, so I'll let you mathematicians figure that one out. <laughs> At any rate, a nice run by Jim that time. The Tigers would like to get on the board again before this thing ends if we could. Jim and Nick Savage in the backfield. Here comes Faust, dumping one over to the far side. Wow, almost picked off as number 42 over there was probably the closest person to catching that pass. <laughs> and uh, he just just missed that one. 42 over there was that Kip Nye. And he was uh, right around that ball that time, but just couldn't bring it in. So it'll bring up a second and 10 now for the Tigers. The clock was stopped, of course, with the incompletion. And uh, still don't know how much time there is left, but probably less than two minutes. 
Here's a handoff and going around the left side this time is Jimmy Savage. The gym's still on his feet, swings down at the 20, now at the 15, down to the 10, and down to about the six yard line before he is finally stopped out there by the, uh, a whole host of uh, little bulldogs. Tigers call timeout, I believe. Let's see. Time called Lichens as they look to get six more points on the board today anyway, make the ball game look a little more respectable. And they call time to get a play in here. It's first and goal from about the six. The ladies behind the men over here, the little uh, tiger ponies, uh, uh, little tiger cheerleaders, I mean, pony cheerleaders, still doing their enthusiastic job here in the waning moments of the season. But they have uh, practiced long and hard and uh, dedicated themselves to coming out here and cheering on these young compatriots of theirs, and they deserve an awful lot of credit also. So here we go on a first and goal from about the six yard line. See if the Tigers can uh, get six more in there. Faust hands it off this time to Jimmy Savage. Jim gonna try to swing around the left side. Jim at about the three and wait a minute, he stepped out of bounds before he could get in. Looks like he stepped out at about the three yard line. Official right on the scene there, saw Jim step out and timeout's gonna be called again by Likens as they uh, probably have expended maybe their last time out. And they're just uh, trying to get on the board one more time. See who's going to score the last touchdown of the 1993 season. It won't be that little fella because he's going off. <laughs> anyway, the Tigers setting it up now for possibly the last play of the ball game barring a touchdown, in which case they would get an opportunity to run the extra point, I do believe. Okay, maybe the last play of the ball game. Tigers about three yards out from putting on their 13th or 12th point. Motion comes over this way. Handoff and going up the middle with it is Nick Savage, and Nick is into the end zone for a touchdown. So it's now a 29 to 12 ball game, and the Tigers will get to do the extra point play. Nick runs it in from about three yards out for the score. And uh, we'll see if we can get an extra point tacked on here just to make it look a little better. Again, Kenny Bats in there to defend on this play to give, get some blocking in there. And this time it's gonna be Faust looking for somebody to pass it to. He's got a man out here, it is incomplete. Ooh, no good. ooh, pretty tough call. So Looked like it might have been complete out there, but they rule it as an incompletion. And uh, I guess Bo was on, or uh, was that Bo Hassinger? Number 54, I think. Yeah, I guess he agrees. He says that was a good call, ref. Anyway, um, falls as an incompletion. And that was uh, Sean Lodgeslager. I mean, not Hassinger, but Sean Lodgeslager. And I guess Sean would agree that he missed that one. But it was close. It looked good from here. Anyway, one more kick coming up and then maybe a play and that'll do it. Back with that kick in just a moment. Chris Smith will tee it up for the last time this year for his little Tiger outfit. As we've got uh, the kickoff team in there. Jason Chubb is in there on the kickoff team for Likens. No, they said Jason Chubb's going to kick off. Wait a minute, I don't think Jason Chubb's kicking off. No, that's, that's Chris Smith kicking off. Whoops, he kicks a, what would look like an onside kick. However, it doesn't go far enough for an onside kick. It's recovered in there by number 66, Nathaniel Schwalom of the uh, Higgins Ball Club. He downs it at the 48-yard line, 47-and-a-half-yard line, whatever. And the clock is put in motion, and I believe we might have seen the last play of the game. The clock watcher down here is checking his watch. And it is getting dangerously close. I guess they're going to let them get one play off here. I'm only guessing. Clock has got to be down there close. In fact, that did it. The ball game has ended as Travis uh, Snyder never does get a chance to get this final playoff. And so congratulations to the little uh, ponies from Higgins. They have truly played uh, an excellent ball game here this afternoon, finally prevailing by a final score of 29 
to uh, 12. So uh, this has been a fantastic season indeed for both of these uh, young fellows and one young lady here, number 46. And uh, anyway, it has been a good one. It's been a privilege and a pleasure to cover these football games this year for our Lycans uh, Tigers. And so uh, we'll try to catch you next year perhaps and do it again and maybe we'll uh, come out all the way on top this time instead of just second from the top. So uh, hang in there, fellas, and we'll see you again next year. Dale Kalman saying thank you for watching and good day from Williams Valley. Final score, Higgins 29, the Tigers 12.